Hi folks, Clayton here again from About Time uh, Fishing and Exploring. Um, just want to touch base with you tonight on a couple of things. I've um, been on a couple of local chat sites tonight chatting to a few people and a pretty commonly asked question is about bait casters. Now they come in all different shapes and sizes, brands, and I'm not going to go into the specifics of all of them. But one of the common questions people had was they've had problems with them casting and whatnot. A lot of that probably comes down to they've never had explained to them how the cast control on a reel works, um, which is probably a shame for the uh, tackle shop people that never explained it to them when they sold the reel. So tonight's just a very, very basic, I'll go through step by step, um, just show you quickly here uh, on one of my reels I've got at home, just to give you a bit of a guide. Um, okay, the reel I have in front of me is my 5000 Abu. It's a pretty genuine sort of reel. They've been around a long time. They are in the simplicity like every other bait casting reel. Okay, they're an overhead drum reel. A lot of the problems come from overhead drum reels because of backlash when the centrifugal force of the spool keeps spinning, which causes the line to overrun underneath, which is common word for it, backlash or bird's nest. Now, on every given reel, you have a couple of different things to look at. You have your basic star drag or a lever drag. The little thing that's underneath it here is your cast control. Now, it's very simple to set up and it's what a lot of people don't know how to set up. To set up a reel properly, what you do is you grab yourself a rod, tie a lead sinker on the end of it, equivalent weight to uh, a basic lure you're going to use. All right, so you've got that tied on, nothing fancy. And we're going to go back to the reel now. So for this to work, it's got to be in free spool. So when you put it in free spool, you can hear the line coming off. Okay, so to set this up, put it back in gear. We back the drag all the way off. So now there is no drag at all on that reel. I can't even wind it. Just going to do it up a little bit, just to wind it up a little bit. Alright, the next thing you have to do is when you go to wind your lure, you should be able to just lift it. With this cast control, you either put tension on by going forward or backwards. To loosen it off is like the brake on a car. The more tight it is, the more brake you're using. So you back that off, and when you've got that in free spool, it just plays off nice and easy. Tighten it up. When I wind that up, put it in free spool, it's a bit tighter, it just drops down slowly. Tighten it up even more and it's not going anywhere. I can literally hold that sinker up here in front of you now, and the only thing that is on is that cast control. All right, so just so you can see here, got the cast control, there's nothing else holding it. What you need to do now is to release that cast control just slowly, and you should see that lead sinker just starting to go down. You can hear the reel just clicking. A little bit more and you'll hear the reel going. That helps that we've got a knot in the line. All right, let's just try that again. All right, so we've got the knot out of the way. In free spool. And you'll just see, I've got the sinker here there's no way to, and you'll just hear it clicking over. That's roughly where you want. 
for someone that's new to casting these, go a little bit heavier. When you cast, put in free spool, keep your thumb on the spool. Cast. The line will play out if you keep your finger, your thumb on the spool, you won't get the backlash. If you do get backlash, it's because it's coming off too quick. Once again, back off your drag, tighten up your cast control just a little bit. Okay. We'll drag up. Now, your free spool. The sink is just sitting there, it's not playing, it's not going anywhere. Just backing off the cast control. And you'll see it just starting to come down. That's how you want it. That's what your cast control is there for. A lot of people don't know about it. They've never used it. They get their reel, put a lure on, cast it to oblivion, and they get a bird's nest and they go, damn stupid reel, never want to use it again. Put it in the box, go grab a spinning reel. These reels are so easy to use once they are set up correctly. So just have a play with that. Get out in your backyard. You don't have to make big casts. Most of the fishing you're gonna do is within 20 feet of the boat when you're casting lures. Just little casts in the backyard and just slowly let that cast control off till you feel comfortable with it. Play with it for a while. Get the feel of it, change some lures get the weights, get used to it, back it off just that little bit more, and you'll get to it in the end where you'll get it to a nice, comfortable cast for you, and that's where it's set. You don't need to adjust it then. Later on, when you come really, really proficient with it, casting it, you can cast it off that little bit more. If you decide to change your lures one day and you're gonna run soft plastics, a really light soft plastic, once again, start off Adjust your cast control, get that all set first, play with it at home or just a couple of casts out in open water, get it set, then set your drag by pulling the tension and away you go. Hope this has been a big help to you. It's something very simple. A lot of people don't know about it. If there's any questions, feel free, jump on my page, leave a comment below, ask some questions. I would not have got anywhere in my fishing career if people hadn't helped me. That's what I'm all about, okay? This is Clayton from About Time Fishing and Exploring. See you out on the water somewhere.